Hey, what's up there crew? Matt here and this is vlog number 86. So in today's vlog, I had a question in yesterday's vlog and the question was, Matt, when you were doing your vinyl car decals and you're doing the decal world site and you just had your eBay site going and things like that as you were getting started, how did you package your vinyl car decals? I'm having a little bit of an issue with this. So here's what we did. And sometimes they were difficult to find. Honestly, I haven't looked for them in five, six years, so I'm not sure. But there were just a manila envelope. And it was a special one that I used to get at Staples. I would just go to the store and get it. Sometimes I would have to order online. But they were six and a half inches. So I think it was... I'm pretty sure six and a half inches by maybe eight inches. And what it did is it fit my vinyl car decals just perfect to be able to put them in. And that's what I shipped every one of them. Honestly, even when I had an order of maybe 25 or 30 decals, I could fit them all into one of those manila envelopes. And then I would just put multiple stamps on it based on the weight. Because I kind of had it down as far as, okay, well... If it's four decals, the weight's going to get up just enough for it to be uh, two stamps. Or if it's one decal, it's one stamp. Or, or ten decals, it might be three stamps and so on. So, I and like I've explained before, I didn't ship anything in like priority mail flat rate envelopes or things like that. Because I didn't want people paying $4.95, I think it was four ninety five at the time, or $5 or whatever for the two to three day priority, I normally would say, okay, it's free shipping. I would throw a couple stamps on it, call it a day, and I still have huge margins on it. Or we would charge them for shipping, and you could charge them maybe a dollar, a dollar twenty-five for shipping. Then you're making 50 cents on every order that you ship out. Because remember, it is shipping and handling. So we did have to buy that manila envelope and obviously the stamps cost money and the time and everything else. So it is, when you think of shipping, a lot of people just think of the shipping cost. Okay, well, it costs $4.95 to ship. Okay, but I also needed to get a printer and I needed to use the ink in the printer and I needed to get the, the labels to be able to print it on. There's there's more cost involved than just the four ninety five flat rate shipping, even if USPS gives you the, the box for it, right? So, but when it came to actually shipping the car decals, that's exactly how I did it. And you know what? Every once in a while, one would get there and it would be bent up. And the cool thing is, is these vinyl car decals, it's hard to ruin these things, okay? These things are pretty difficult to ruin. So... If it did get to them and it was dented up or something, I would say, you know what? It's still going to look good. Put it on the car and if for some reason when you put it on the car it still looks bad or it still has a crease in it or something like that, just let me know and I'll make you a new one and I'll send it to you. And it was very, very rare that anybody ever said it still looks weird or it still doesn't look good. Can you send me a new one? Because I knew with this, this vinyl material, even if it were a crease like this, Okay, as soon as they put that on the car, it's going to be no issue at all and it's going to look perfect. All right, so easy vlog tonight, just packaging our vinyl car decals. But as you know, every single one of you out there, please, 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 if you have a vinyl cutter, you have to be doing these car decals. Okay, the margins on them are absolutely ridiculous and they're the biggest margins you're going to find. You have to do these. All right. And you can sell them to anybody. It doesn't have to be sports, right? You can make ones for dogs. And you can make ones for cats. You can make ones for websites. You can make ones for business names. On, on I, I used to do a ton of them for free Wi-Fi inside. For like different coffee shops. Or think of every, every business you go to. You look over here and they have the hours of, of their business. Their business hours up on the door, right? Or they have their business name on the door over here. So those are all things that you can... So I know I show a lot of the sports decals, but don't think that it always has to be a sports decal. Pay attention one time. You probably do. When you go to the dentist's office, or you go to the doctor, or you go to the store, or you go to here, or you go to there, and look at which ones are vinyl car decals, like you make every day with your vinyl cutter over here, right? Right? Look at how many they are. there are out there and you'll realize, man, 
I could go to this tanning shop and I can go to this smoothie place and I can go to this place and I can market to all of these people with these vinyl car decals or the vinyl window decals and advertise for them and, and get the business logo up on their door or their store hours or the free Wi-Fi inside or all the different things that all of those stores have, okay? And a cool idea, just to give you a cool one that I did a lot of, um, as you know, when um, car companies like Toyota and Nissan and all these different car companies, when they have loaner cars, when, so when your car's in the shop and you, they give away a loaner car, well, I used to always make all the decals that said property of Sarasota Nissan and property or, or courtesy of Sarasota Nissan. And it's advertising for all of those, but they might have 20 loaner cars, 30 loaner cars that you make decals for every single one of them. All right, so think that there's so many things out there that you can make money on with vinyl decals. It's insane. You'll never, never run out of opportunity. Okay, so hopefully the vlog helped you out today. Comment below, comment, comment below, comment below right here. You guys are giving some amazing questions. I appreciate it. You guys make my life easy. You, you ask awesome questions every day and they're all things that I've experienced as I've grown my business and I can share all of it with you which is the funnest part for me. This is the part that I enjoy and then I'll see you guys and and just from this vlog post eventually I'll get an email and says Matt I watched vlog number 86 and you mentioned something about going to the car dealerships and offering to do their car decals or going to the different businesses and I just got my first account at a, at a car dealership and that's the part that excites me the most about doing these things is when I see your success from it. That's the that's the part that's really gratifying for me is I love sharing all this stuff, but I love it even more when I see it benefiting all of you, which is the awesome part. So thank you guys. But yeah, whenever you have those stories, please share them with me because I love that part. But in the meantime, comment below, give me some more great questions and subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. And check out all the vlogs right up there. Check out the website, therhinestoneworld.com, right over there. And, I don't know, check out some other cool videos right there. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys all have an amazing night. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.